Hi everybody, how's it going today? Mrs. Jordan here, and I haven't seen you guys in a while, a whole week. I took last week off because it's my school's spring break, so I needed a week to kind of relax, recharge, get some fun ideas going for us to do, like today. So my house is filled with paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls, and I felt bad just throwing them away. So I wanted to do a project where we can recycle them and make them into works of art. So. I found four animals that we can transform our toilet paper rolls into. So I want you to think of more animals that we can transform them into too. But I showed, I'm going to show you four. So these are the supplies that you're going to need to make all four animals. You're going to need toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, if you want to make them bigger, scissors, pencil, paint, paintbrush, water, glue, or tape. I'll have all of the supplies listed below in the description box, just so you can find them later. So, with all that being said, let's get started. I'm gonna start by making a fox, and I'm going to bend the top part of my toilet paper roll, and I'm gonna bend the other side. I'm making a fox first, because at my school, that's our mascot, and I'm kind of obsessed. So. I'm making sure that I'm pressing down super hard, um, making sure that the points on the sides are nice and sharp. Those are going to be the fox's ears. And I'm using a toilet paper roll instead of a paper towel roll because it's a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to start sketching out or drawing and planning where I'm going to put my fox's face. I'm starting with a little circle for the nose and then I'm going to add two big leaf shapes that kind of are round at the bottom and get pointy at the top. Those are going to be for our fox's eyes to go in. You know how they have like little white areas by their eyes? Well, that's what those are. And then I'm going to go and make a big rainbow shape on the belly and that's just going to be where the white fluffy fluffs of the belly are going to be. Now I'm going to start painting. I'm going to start with the most color that we're going to use, which is orange. And I'm painting everything orange except for the eyes, nose, and belly. Now I'm going to take some white and I'm going to fill in the eyes and the belly. I'm going to try my best to really take my time with this because I want to make sure that it's completely colored in. I don't want to see any brown of the toilet paper roll showing through. I want to make sure that I'm taking my time painting and for best results you should probably wait um, after each layer of paint. So I would probably go over the orange one more time but I wanted to just jump right into this, so I didn't do a second coat. But since you guys have time, please go ahead, do a second coat of orange. It'll make it look even better. And now I'm just really carefully taking my time and painting in white for the eyes and the belly. So I'm taking a smaller brush, and I'm going to paint, paint, ay, 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 tongue twister, paint my fox's nose. I'm also going to add two little dots for the eyes, and then I'm taking a really skinny little brush, and this part's optional, and I'm going to outline all of the white so it looks like a cartoon. Okay, 
check it out. You see how I made those little baby lines for the belly to make it look fuzzy? I did that on purpose, friends. I would love it if you could do the same. We added texture to make the little hairs on the fox look more realistic. Now, you can add a tail on the back. You can add whatever you want, but I'm gonna move on to our next little creature. Our next little creature is going to be an owl. And I'm just gonna take another toilet paper roll and notice how I still have some toilet paper on there. I tried to get it off, but you know what? We're just gonna have to make do with what we got and that's A-OK -okay because we're gonna paint it and it's not gonna be an issue. I did the same thing as I did with the fox and I just bent the top part in so that it created a curve for the two spiky sides. Those are gonna be like their, our little owl's ears. And I'm gonna make a really long, tall rainbow line and that's gonna be for our owl's belly. And then I'm just gonna get started and just start painting. So I'm gonna take my big brush and I'm gonna choose whatever color I want to for the body. I'm leaving the belly alone for right now. So go ahead and choose a color that you want and paint the whole body minus the belly. So I'm going to choose a color and I'm just going to paint that belly really quick. pretty big because owl's eyes are ginormous for their little bodies. So I'm going to take a clean paintbrush, dip it in the white, and I'm going to make two circles that are pretty large. And I'm going to do a couple of coats of white because I am impatient, which means I did not let the blue paint dry. So what happens when you mix wet blue paint with wet white paint? you get light blue and I didn't want our owl to have light blue eyes so that's what I'm doing I'm just trying to cover it and then I'm gonna have to do a little uh, second coat here shortly my owl's eyes are drying, I'm going to take some orange and I'm going to draw a little orange triangle kind of over top of the belly and underneath the eyes and that's going to be our owl's beak. After I'm all done with my owl's beak, I'm then going to move on to the wings and I'm going to rotate the toilet paper roll out just slightly. I'm going to get a slightly smaller paintbrush and you are going to get whatever color you want. I just chose white. And I'm gonna make two football shapes that are pointy and then big and then pointy again. And I'm just gonna add some crazy lines in there to make it look like feathers. They're kind of like halfway in between zigzag lines and wavy lines. And I'm doing that on both sides. Much 
better those two eyes look with a fresh coat of paint. I'm just gonna quickly add two dots to these eyes and then I'm gonna prep for our next animal. Alrighty, so I'm starting with a paper towel roll and I'm doing something a little different. I took my hand and I smushed it down. Do you see how it's flat now? It's not a circle. That's because we're gonna draw on our toilet paper roll and then we're gonna cut our toilet paper roll. So this is where our scissors come in. And we're gonna be making a dinosaur. It's my favorite one I think that we make and it's just the cutest, hilarious thing. So I'm gonna start by making at the very edge, a straight line that goes down, 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 down to about, I don't know, a little bit below the center of the toilet paper roll. And then I'm gonna make a straight line going almost across and then another tall line going up, but I'm not connecting it to the very edge. Do you see that? I'm going to start making a half circle that then connects all the way up. So, that's gonna be the back, head, and tail. And now let's work underneath. These are gonna be where the feet go. And I'm gonna make a rainbow line right in the middle, and then two half rainbow lines, one on either side. And now I'm going to make sure that my dinosaur paper towel roll is flat, and I'm going to use scissors, and I'm going to carefully cut along the line. Now, this might be a little bit hard because toilet paper rolls are thicker than paper. So if you need help, go ahead and ask someone to help you. And you're going to make sure that you're cutting through both layers of your toilet paper roll. Alrighty, so once I'm all done cutting, I'm going to kind of open up our little dinosaur to make him a circle again, and just even a little squeezy squeeze, and it's not going to look like a dinosaur right now. We need to start bending the paper towel roll. So I'm starting with the end that does not have a half circle on the end, we're working on the tail, and I'm carefully bending the paper towel roll so that the tail stays down. Do you see how I also kind of pinched it at the end? That'll make it stay down. And then I'm going to do the same thing but only at the very tippy top for the head. And it already looks like a dinosaur. It is so cute. Oh my goodness gracious. I love it. And I'm just going to give it an extra pinch so it stays. And now I'm going to paint the entire thing. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do a little green um, but your dinosaur can be whatever color you want. I'm just going to paint the outside and the whole inside. Make sure that you do two layers of paint, especially if you're like me and still have some toilet paper hanging from it. add two little dots of black for the eyes and this little dinosaur is all done and 
this video is already pretty long and the next animal that we're gonna do is time consuming. It's gonna take the longest. So you know what? I'm gonna actually pause it right here and we'll do the next one tomorrow. So I'm just gonna clean up my area. I love you guys so much. Have a happy, happy day. And I guess you're gonna have to see what we're gonna do tomorrow. Bye guys!